hello and welcome to this year's first episode of Hurricane Ian's WCHRIS report is brought to you by the Yellow Pages. As you probably noticed if we lived in the area, we got the Yellow Pages delivered yesterday. Most people don't pick these up when they're delivered, so when the wind comes, there they go. All over the neighborhood, Yellow Pages, yay! It's Tuesday evening right now, we're in Clearwater, Florida. We do live in a non-evac zone, but let me tell you, this one looked pretty scary, so for the first time in my life, I boarded up some windows. Ryobi Rebels, yeah. Current conditions right now, 78 degrees, partly cloudy. The clouds are beautiful right now. Humidity was at 72 last time I checked. We are going to have some rain starting in about an hour. As soon as that rain starts, it's going to be raining on and off for pretty much the rest of our lives. What's that? Oh, we have some pre-hurricane last minute tips from the Palm Harbor Hunk. Take it away, Palm Harbor Hunk. All right, everybody, we are coming at you live in beautiful Palm Harbor, Florida. Now, this is the calm before the storm. What I want to do is go through a few tips for you as you prepare for this storm. So, of course, we want to take care of our furry friends here. Come here, buddy. So, the biggest thing about our pets, right, we got to make sure we have enough food for them. You know, my dogs eat only organic grass-fed beef, so I got a freezer stocked full of those. They're having a good time in the pool. But also, another big thing with this storm is the wind gets pretty crazy. So what you have to do, if you have any patio furniture at all, and you have a nice pool like we do here, what you have to do is take your stuff and just throw it in the pool. Back to you. Ah, oh, thank you, Palm Harbor Hunk. So now I understand. If a hurricane's coming, throw your dogs in the pool. Got it, thank you. Okay, so right now, Hurricane Ian is 100 miles southwest of Key West. Unfortunately, it does look like it's approaching our friends in the Sarasota or Naples area at this moment. It could shift one way or another, but that's where we're headed right now. And uh, it's expected to be a category four, maybe a category three when it hits. I was thinking it was gonna be a two, but that might've just been wishful thinking. So guys, if you still have time to get out, if you need to get out, if you're in an evacuation zone, uh, you do have time to get out. And actually, I just looked at the traffic map. Right now, there's no traffic. I mean, just all the major intersections. But besides that, you can get out pretty quick or you can just go to a non-evacuation zone. You don't have to travel far, but yeah, you should definitely get out if you can, if you're in an evac zone. Oh, this wind, this hurricane wind is blowing my papers around. Oh, and the beaches are closed, so you can't drive across the bridge to go to the beaches anymore. I really wanted to do this report there, but no, apparently it's dangerous to be on the shore during a hurricane. All right, well, stay tuned, and we'll be back either later tonight or tomorrow morning. And if our power goes out, then we won't be back quite as soon. Okay, bye. Thank you. W-C-H-R-I-S.